Hello guys and welcome to the first part for the Defiance Beta 3. So this is the third beta, uh, it's the first time it's come out on consoles, I thought why not give it a try on consoles. This is the Xbox version, I'll probably buy the full game on the PC if I'm honest, but I want to try the Xbox to see how it feels. So you've got the, um, some reason I've selected this female character and then accidentally turned around completely by accident, I don't know why. I thought the female characters are quite, quite good looking anyway. <laughs> I was a bit distracted compared to that bloke, look at that. Also look at that every... That is mental. What are you looking at, bitch? Like that. So you get the point. Um, so we're like Ark Hunters, which is basically our characters. Basically every person is like an Ark Hunter. Um, the game is split up into like missions and small events and stuff. It actually seems like it's got a really cool idea. It's like going to try out. Um, sort of reminds me a bit of Guild Wars in a way. So I think I'm going to be a one of these crazy alien duties. And I think I'm going to be... The ones that sound quite interesting to me, you can read all the stuff if you wish. Uh, the Veterans, which sounds quite decent. I quite like the idea of the Outlaws as well. Outlaws are like criminals that have had a, such a bad past, but now have like a chance to begin their new life. That sounds like quite cool, but this also sounds extremely cool. Machinists. Um, so if you want to go for Machinists first of all. You can select his face. He looks like he's uh, a little bit lost, he's not really sure where he's supposed to go. Let's go for this guy. Um, and then he obviously change the face a little bit more if you can see. Um, I'm not going to play that with too much because I think I'm going to probably spend a little bit more time on my main character when the game comes out. Which is um, the 2nd of April. I think the series starts, the actual TV series starts on the 16th. Which I'll definitely be checking out. Right, let's edit his nose. Yes, I like that nose. <laughs> I still really awkward doing this, especially in that walkthroughs. Yes, I love this guy's nose. He looks superb. But, um, yeah, the game does. I've heard very good things about this game, and I'm definitely looking forward to uh, checking it out a bit. Let's go to. What's it? Eye shape. Basically, a change between the eyes, to be honest. See, little tiny changes. Ooh, that looks pretty scary. Let's go for that one. Hairstyle. Yeah, let's definitely change his hair. Can you not change it? There we go. Oh my god, no. No, definitely not. What the fuck? My god. <laughs> Let's go for that dude, he looks cool. Why's he got grey hair as well? Let's go for like a browny colour. Oh, moustache. What's a random human being? This is like a sort of human being, but it's not. It's like a... It reminds me a bit of something from, St from Star Trek or something. Sort of weird broad nose thing. Um, what's this? Oh, markings. That's quite cool. Go for that one. Blem Whoa, Jesus. I'll turn this guy around a bit. Look at what he's going. Ooh, a few little scratches. I think that's really cool. He's been through some battles. No, that looks really stupid. Ooh, that looks cool, but I think it looks. I think I'm gonna stick with the one. I think that's quite a cool character. Uh, so we are done with that guy. Let's finish him off. Oh god. Name your character. I have no clue with names. So I'm gonna name him. Epic Game Riot. I'm so bad with names, it's unreal. Just, it's one of my weaknesses in life, names. We have weaknesses, don't we? Well, no. There we go. Great character. Confirm. Look at his moustache. He's a legend. Now, Arkhunter. Hold on, Captain. That one isn't wearing your beloved uniform. They don't take orders from you. Sorry about that, friend. We land in ten. Strap in! I never got to brief you on your ego implant, so we really need to... What the hell? Sir, they need you on the bridge. I think I will actually get to my seat. When we land, don't go anywhere. The ego activation could be a bit jarring without a proper briefing. Just a little turbulence. Completely normal. No, it's not. We're all gonna die. She's actually quite charming once you get to know her. Well, 
that was a bit of dramatic. So those two characters are from the actual TV series. Uh, I recognise the bloke and the lady. Apparently the lady gives us like the main mission quests in the game. So the main missions within the game. Um, so I did speak a little bit about some of the events. you got like, major events, major important events that you have to go to. Which basically means like you can see it pretty clearly, the events taking place. And literally see like everyone going in that direction. It's like an open world, so everyone sees you and you just attack this random event. It seems pretty cool. Let's watch this cutscene for a bit. Which one of these dealies opens this bitch? Oh, nice. Holy stucko. You're alive. Name's Cass Dukar. I saw you land. Well, maybe that's not the right word. It was more smashing into the ground than landing. I sort of expected you to be a bowl of soup in there. Um, what are you doing? Do it, do it. Sit down before you pass out. I'm sure you took more than a bump to the head, so rest. Get your feet under you. I'm gonna go see if anyone else needs help. Oh, you might want to arm yourself a bit more. The locals aren't known for their charm. Hello. Oh, good. You can hear me now. I can sense your nervousness, but don't fret. I'm the environmental guardian online device that was injected into your body. You can just call me Ego. Please forgive me. I'm having some trouble getting all the behaviors activated, so we might experience a few hitches at the beginning. But I'll sort it out. We have lots to go over, so we should start. So that was the thing that guy was speaking about earlier. Well, interact. You can interface with me to signal when you're ready to proceed. Let's try it. Okay, I'm ready to fix that. We need to find Mr. Von Bach, but first we'll need to gear up. Okay, I've got to find us some sort of shield. Von Industries has defense technologies aboard the Strata Carrier. I've placed a marker on our map where we'll find some. So, from my initial impressions, I've seen I have seen um PC gameplay. It does look a little bit better than the Xbox. Excellent. For obvious Once reasons. That, Whoa. Will allow me to activate the shield. Right, so, I've got to go to the loadout. Whoa, it's got a few options. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, secondary. Ah, oh, shield. Okay. Should we equip the shield? There we go. Running. We're going to need another weapon option. Oh. I'm picking up a signal from a cracked mobile armory. Is that a mutant. Let's though? hurry. We need to collect the necessary supplies as soon as possible, so we can start looking for Mr. Von Bach. I'll just hit them. Moving forward. Oh, that's pretty fun. Let's see if I can like minute attack them. Right, so 120 meters away. What's this? Ooh. Yes, let's open this. So this is the third base. Obviously, they've done a few, few, few improvements. It's so late, I'm tired. It's a few improvements to the game since the first base. Whoa! The sort of shoots out of my radar. It's like a million enemies about. I think they're like non, non threats, non threats. Is that even a word? What? Hello, is anyone else abroad? So we've got to find another weapon basically. Well, we've got a pistol, which is pretty crap. So it's fun to take a bit better. Because the locals aren't very friendly, apparently, as we've seen so far. They look like mutants, pretty much. Oh, hello. Dodging me for! Oh, yeah. What in the face? What's this? Mobile armory. That could be useful. The light machine gun is big, loud, and powerful. So it's this bursts are capable of crippling the enemy from yeah, both machine gun. and afar. And equip the auto pistol as my secondary weapon. For specific situations. So you'll want to get used to switching back and forth between the primary and secondary weapons. So just literally just why? Okay, that's fine. <laughs> some explosives nearby. We could definitely use those. I've put the location on the map. Let's go towards those grenades. So far, I'm quite impressed with the game. It's graphically looks quite nice on the Xbox. Considering it's like a open world game, I mean, that's pretty pretty impressive. 
Um, I'm interested to see what the series actually is going to be like. I don't really know too much about it. What's that? We are bringing down the servers in 19 minutes to address server address issues. Servers downtime will be one hour. Great. Hello. So people get like XP and stuff, which is obviously be very beneficial. I need some gunfire, but we might be in the distance. I'm guessing the enemies do get a lot, lot more difficult later on. See tons of red dots around, which is quite scary to be honest. So I'm just entry into the game. This is just a supply pod. This gives us grenades. Grab one and equip it. Oh, press on button there. There we go. Right, grenades. There we go. Oh, there we go. And a frag grenade. Have you? I think you already know how this works. Pull the pin, throw, and get out of there. Let's quickly see if we go. There we go. What's this blue what's this purple thing coming towards me? Is that another person? I think it's another person. Hello! We're the same type. Now that we're geared up, it's time to train you on the ego powers. Oh god. Cloak must be activated to prevent the projection from tracing your movement. Oh what? First, I'm invisible. Cloak. While using cloak, you are completely invisible to enemies. Use the power to sneak up behind the projection and attack. Oh nice. Now we'll test the overcharge power. While using overcharge, your damage inflicted on the enemy is significantly increased. Shoot the projection while overcharge is activated. Okay. Whoa. The decoy Jesus. power is now enabled. Decoy allows us to create a projection in your likeness that will pull and distract the enemy. Take down the projection while it is distracted by your decoy. Oh, decoy. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Smashed it. What happened there? Hello, bitch. The blur power has been enabled. Blur will allow us to move at extreme speeds and increases melee strength during close combat. Blur. Blur active, rush the projection and strike it with a melee attack. Ooh, nice. Literally just blows you. <laughs> going so quick. Feels like I'm going the same speed Good though. Work. Feels a bit weird. Permanently choose an eco power for me to integrate. So you can, or do you switch, quickly switch that in and out then, do you? Uh, like by pressing, is it by pressing the start maybe? Yeah, powers. Um, I'm guessing you'll unlock them. Go for the cloak for now. Or not. Yes, I want to go out, please. There we go. No! Unlock. There you go. Great! The ego power is initiated and integrated. Sweet! That I'm first power. A signal. I'll patch it through. Can anyone hear me? I need help down here. It looks like the mutants are getting organized for an attack. Oh no, we better help her. Well, it's time to go and help out someone. I think this might be our first main mission. Where do you up there? No, oh, he's not there anymore. Stupid mutants. What the hell was that I just saw? Like a little massive, weird looking crab. So we had the decoy ability activated. Which we can't. Oh, there it is. Our decoy, look at him! Run! I think you get vehicles and stuff as well, which is quite nice. Obviously, this might be. We need to shut these dudes down. If we don't, we can forget about finding any survivors. Let's shoot some of these mutant dudes. Oh, okay, that's quite cool. We can crouch as well. Oh, hello. That's a bit sneaky. I have the ability to hack into most computer systems. Get to that reactor and I'll see what I can do. It's also objective. Okay, that little glowing thing we've got to our left. Ouch. Oh, look, shut your bottom decoy. You can come on these bloody doors. Jesus. Let's check out that reactor. I'm sure we'll be able to use it. 
There we go. Oh, this guy's badass. What? Get down! Oh. Is it gonna explode? Oh, no, no, I've got to protect it. No, back off. Back off. You're annoying me. Oh, wait. This planet is ours. No, it's mine. All mine. I'm taking the piss out of it. Back off. Man, they're really going for it. So I can do this. Just keep coming. I was completely distracted by my decoy, which is good. It's doing its job. implant don't you that's amazing first time I've ever seen one in action you know we're gonna make one hell of a team a little backup can take you a long way in this crazy place I'm heading to the crash site they're gonna need help I'm sure we'll be in contact our cunner I think she was fairly impressed by my my amazing skills in the battlefield don't you think so yeah, this game seems pretty impressive. I lost for words there, I thought it was pretty good. Um, the combat seems fairly easy to get a handle of. You've got abilities that you can use. Uh, loads of abilities you can unlock and stuff. Um, the ego things, the ego, whatever you want to call it. Whoa, what happened there? Ego upgrade available. Okay. Should we have a quick look at the upgrades then? Uh, let's go to this. No, that's the map. There we My go. systems have reached a threshold where upgrades have become available. You may now spend an ego unit. So can we upgrade this one? No, we can't. That would be a stupid idea. Um, so we have to unlock. I think we have to unlock five of those, is it? And then go on to the next bit. So we have to unlock perhaps this one. Let's unlock the cloak. Uh, let's quickly um, this. Let's activate this one as well. Do we have any perks available? So these are the perks. Ah, oh, okay. That's interesting. So we have perks as well, which looks like we have loads of perks. Maybe. This could get interesting. Right, I gotta speak to Mr. What do you want? Just that old secret missions from her as well. We need to find out if Mr. Von Bach survived. Who is this? Is it like a random dude? Is well. Up signals from a couple Hello, of how are you doing? Fingers crossed that one of them belongs to Mr. Von Bach. I can jump. I can jump. I can jump. I'm invisible. <laughs> oh yeah. Piss off. I <laughs> just hit me in the face. But I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Damn it! I'm dying here. I'm dying. Is there another good dude here? Tip no one. Don't rush in. <laughs> I've learned my lesson. So we get. XP for every. Ooh, so we have to actually go and collect the XP. It seems. Let's keep moving. So, if you guys would like to see more of this, let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see the full game as well. That'd be interesting this to find out. I hope whoever was in there is still alive. Let's hope so. Oh, so I thought it was an enemy, but it's not. So, little purple dots are us all friends, basically. Is he, is he lost? Why have you got grey hair? Get the pistol out for a bit, see what the pistol can do. Got a few enemies behind me. Oh, is he being attacked? Save him! With my terrible shooting skills. Oh, nice. It's a 
thinking like chain kills, headshot kills, critical headshot wounds, and loads of crazy stuff. We're really lucky to be alive. The crash is horrifying. So that was the shit we was in. Um, obviously, we, get, we just about escaped from it. With our teeth almost intact. <laughs> no, I said that. Uh, with our teeth just about intact. Right, what's. What? What is this? Can we jump down here? Is that. No, we can jump down here though. Hello, magic mushrooms. How are you? Nope. Oh, hello. Is that grey headed again? Oh, oh my no. god, it's loads. This person didn't make it out alive. I'm detecting a fading ego signal, which means this person must have been a fellow arc hunter. Oh man, that's not good. It doesn't look like Mr. Von Bach is in any of these evac seats, but I'm receiving several SOS transmissions through my direct frequency. One of them has to be Mr. Von Bach. Let's hurry and check them out. So you can see all the little, uh, wow, look at the amount of purple dots about. That is mental. So we've got all these things that I can check out. So I'm going to leave it there for now, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode so far. As you see me slowly learning the premise of this game and how we actually get on with it. It seems to be a pretty cool game. I've really enjoyed it so far. So if you guys want to see more, make sure you like the video, subscribe, and let me know if you want to see the full game and more of the base. I think the base ends on Sunday, so I'll get a few little parts out here and there, but not loads. So yeah, see you guys later. Bye.